Happy holidays, everybody. How you guys doing today, man? You already know what it is. Who is Louis 13 back again? I am Louis. And you already know, man. There's the whip, the scat pack wide body. You know what I'm saying? Just in time for golden hour. Yes, sir. And today, we're gonna be showing you guys how to properly warm this thing up. Just in case you guys don't know, man, these Hemis, we got a lot to talk about with these Hemis, a lot of stuff I need to let you guys know, if you don't already know. My baby needs a wash, my baby needs a wash, but she looking clean regardless. A little dusty, but it's all good, man. You see the Toyo R888s, all the carbon fibers, and you know how we start these videos, man. Come on, y'all ready? and turn that off usually I don't turn it off so quick after just starting it but for the sake of this video I had to give you guys a little cold start but I also have to show you how to properly warm up your car and that includes turning it on and we're gonna hop right into it we ain't gonna waste no time you guys see the merch if you're interested in the merch all links are down below in the description you know if you enjoy give the video a like if you like you know a little double entendre there give the video a like if you like and uh, subscribe, comment, do all that, man, if you please. But let's not waste any time, let's get right into this. All right, so check it out, guys. One very important thing that you guys need to know about these Hemis is they have a design flaw in them. And we'll talk more about it in future videos. But warming up the vehicle is gonna be very important, you know, to keeping that Hemi tick down to a minimum. If you guys don't know what the Hemi tick is, I've dropped videos before in the past on it and I'll drop more in the future. But it's the little ticking noise that you hear and a lot of Hemis have it. It has to do with the lifters. It has to do with the cam, not getting enough oil. And the things that we're gonna be doing here today are going to promote better lubrication for the cam during the warm up process. Because the most detrimental time for that cam is below 1500 RPM. So just turning it on, you know, when you're warming it up, idling idling is no good for hemis you do not want to idle you know i can't say that enough i've said it before you do not want to idle for too long if you don't have to with these hemi engines no matter if it's a 5.7 6.4 6.2 you know hellcat whatever you don't want to idle so first thing and this has nothing to do with what we just talked about, but this is very important as well. A lot of people do not do this. They'll just put their foot on the brake, start it up right away. No, you don't want to do that. You want to prime everything, all right? And the way that I found this out is because I used to have a 5.7 RT Challenger, and um, I would always just turn it, turn it on right away. I wouldn't prime nothing. I would just turn it right on. And eventually, after a lot of years, let me say, I will say this, it was after a lot of years, I, I got a little code and I forgot what the code was, but it was something with the computer. So after I got that code, I started doing what I'm about to show you and that code disappeared, never came back. So the first thing you wanna do when you hop into the whip, obviously you're not gonna do this if you re remote start, but I try not to remote start all the time. The only time I really remote start um, is for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Or if I'm trying to like show off in public or something, which isn't often, but you know, it does happen. Um, but I don't really remote start that much. But look, this is the first thing you want to do. You hop in the whip, press the start button. You see it says ACC for accessory, right? Press it one more time. It says run. Now look, you see how everything's priming up? Everything's getting ready, you know, getting ready to start. You know, you just told the computer we here, we ready. You know, instead of just putting your foot on the brake and starting it right up, surprising it, nah, we, we get it ready, we start it up, we warm it up, a little foreplay for the engine, you know what I'm saying? We don't wanna just jump in dry, people. That's never good for anybody, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we do, we prime everything up. Now after we do that, okay, good, we're good to start, we can start it up now. 
And as you guys can see, we got 882 on the miles. We about to hit 888. Shout out to Kobe Bryant, the Bean, the Mamba, the Goat. Rest in peace. So now that we're ready to go, we go ahead, put our foot on the brake, start it up. Boom, still sounds legendary even though we already started it. All right, so now, very important. You see where the RPMs are at, right? We're warming it up. We don't wanna start and go right away. We gotta let it warm up, obviously. What you wanna do is just barely put your foot on that pedal, get it to around 1500, 2000 RPMs. What that's gonna do, that's gonna allow some oil to get on that cam because between 1500 and 2000 RPMs is when the cam gets the most lubrication, all right? The defect in these Hemi engines doesn't allow that cam to get lubrication um, when you're below that. We'll talk more about the defect, like I said, in a future video, but just know that when you're below 1500 RPMs, that cam is not getting lubricated, and that's how the lifters give out, you know, the rollers get stuck and they start banging away on that cam and that's when that real hemi tick starts and you know, you bang out that cam, the cam gets depleted, metal gets thrown around the whole engine and you're pretty much screwed at that point, you know, so you don't want that to happen. Um, all hemis have the hemi tick, whether you hear it at first or not, you're gonna have that hemi tick. It's just the defect in these hemi engines, people. And uh, it's just something we got to deal with as Hemi owners. So we're going to just uh, warm it up like this for a little while. Keep it between 1500 and 2000. Don't go above 2000 because you don't want to rev it too high. Revving is not good for your engines. I don't care what they tell you. You know, you see, especially when you just start it, you do not want to rev your engines too much. All right. So we're just keeping it between 1500 and 2000. And we're just going to do this until we're warmed up, you know. So you see when we first started it, it was a little bit, it was probably about, probably about uh, 1250 on the RPMs. So we do this for a little while and then we let off. And you see we're good to go. It's below 1000, the RPMs dropped. That's how you know it's warm enough. You could get going. Still, when we take off, we're not gonna go crazy right away. We gotta let it warm up still. We gotta let those temps come up. We gotta let the transmission fluid heat up. The oil temps have to go up a little bit. Cause if you bang it out the gate right away all the time, you know, even from time to time, it's not good people. You don't wanna do that. So you already know what I gotta do. I gotta put this thing on up here, you know, because we gotta have that. And this is very, very key information right here, people. I'm letting you guys in on some very good knowledge here. This game that you really need to know as a Hemi owner is very detrimental if you're not doing this, all right? And nobody does this. I could guarantee you that 90% of people do not do this. Maybe 85%, but a whole, like the majority of Mopar owners do not do this. And this is mainly for my Hemi people, all right? So we're good to go. We can get it started. And um, yeah, we don't wanna bang it right out the gate. We're just gonna drive around, you know, until we get up to temp, and then we can start going crazy with it. That's some key knowledge that you guys really need to know and you can pass it on to your other Mopar people, you know, your other Hemi owners. Because I see it all the time. I see it all the time. People start up their Hemis and they just sit, let it sit there idling, man. I see it in no disrespect because you already know I love Tall Guy Car Reviews. I love Omi and a Hellcat. All these people, like they're the reason why I first started this YouTube stuff. But I watch their videos and I see it all the time and it's like cringy to me, bro. Cause I know what it's doing, but I mean, they got the bag, so it doesn't really matter to them. But for us, we ain't got the bag like that. For a lot of us, we gotta do what we can to, you know, protect these engines as much as possible, especially the way that we be driving them. I know myself for sure. Um, but I see it in these videos, they turn it on and they just let it idle for mad long. And you can hear the little Hemi tick. I just watched Omi in the Hellcats video. If you haven't seen it, the one where he's talking about giving away uh, the, the scat pack most recent and he's, he, they go to the house to check out the house he's giving away. Um, the one where he took delivery. Oh, that's a nice uh, little Mustang right there. I see you. Um, the one where he took delivery of the Corvette. If you go to that video, you see where he starts up the scat. You can hear the Hemi tick in there. You can hear the Hemi tick and uh, he just lets it sit there for mad long. And I'm just like, damn, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. 
but uh, excuse the voice guys, excuse the voice. I am a little bit under the weather. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't have Corona for everybody asking. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I do not have Corona. Um, but yeah, so this is very important, man. Something you guys really need to be doing. Let's see what's up with this Mustang. Oh, he was pulling up. He slowed down all kinds, what the hell? That was a nice Mustang though. So yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, we got another little challenger over here too. Okay. See if we can get a little action in this video, guys. You never know, man. We might just get a little action in here. We shall see. I'm gonna put this over here. Just have track mode ready just in case. But yeah, guys. Literally, that's something you guys really need to be doing every time you warm up your cars, um, your Hemis, because eventually you're probably gonna get the Hemi tick to where, you know, it starts sounding metallic, and that's how you know the lifters gave out and it's just banging away on that cam. Oh, the tra Challenger's getting off. He must have seen me in the rear view, because he merged over like three lanes, man. What happened, man, what happened? But um, yeah, that's just the that's just how it is with these Hemi's, and I've seen people, you know, say they've gotten two hundred thousand miles with no issues. So um, it's not like it's gonna happen at fifty thousand. It could, you know, if you're not doing the right stuff. And that's why you know having the right oil in there, always staying up to date on your oil changes and everything, is very important in these cars, these Hemi's. Um, so you got to really make sure you're doing the right stuff and I'm gonna keep dropping info on this subject for you guys That way we can make sure we're protecting these Hemi's that we own um, This is just one of many I'll drop a video as well going more into depth on what the design flaw is you know and um, Yeah, but you guys already know what it is man. Uh, we got a whole lot more content on the way you know, we don't just do informative stuff. You can look through the videos. You see we go to Mexico a lot. We haven't been in, in a little while. We haven't been in a little while. But we got some stuff on the way. So stay tuned for all that. You know, we got a lot more mods on the way. I'm so excited for all the mods, um, performance, and cosmetic. So super excited for all the mods. The gaming channel has been going nuts. That's why I haven't been on here as much as I usually am. Um, I'm still keeping it. I've been, I think, like once a week these past two weeks. But before that, it was like almost every single day. So I know uh, you guys are used to very consistent uploads. And we ain't getting away from that whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? We still are here with the consistent uploads. And that ain't going to stop. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be here and at the gaming channel. So if you guys are into gaming, go check out the gaming channel, Louis13Gaming. All links are in the description. Like I said, if you found this helpful, if you liked the video, um, if you want to see more of this type of content um, and all the other content that we do as well, give it a like, subscribe if you like. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep it rocking, baby. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. All links are down below in the description for everything I use, recommend. Um, all my channels, the merch, everything. You guys seen the merch earlier. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So go check it out. All links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys as always. Louis 13 Gaming. Who is Louis 13 checking out? Salute. I'm going to catch you guys real soon, man.